if TV, but uh, but yeah, that, that's where we are. All right, so let's go back through where we were. Let's start over. Yes. So the first string I'd like to talk about is this forward two. And I think this is one of his two key moves that you're going to kind of revolve your normal game around. Sure. So it's a high, but it's pretty quick. It's and got great reach. And is awesome. And you can easily hit confirm it and do a special move. Okay. And so the beat down. Or on counter hit, you get a crushing blow which leads to a combo opportunity. So I think that is definitely from like the mid range, his bread and butter move. Okay. The other one is his really good mid and that is forward one. And Where he actually- kind of throws money at you? It's burning cards. I oh, think. I thought it was like cash. Cause like yeah. that would be something Nick would do is just throw money at you. Oh, I think you're right. That's <laughs> money. That makes it even cooler. I never knew that. Cause he has no need for that. No, 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 no. He doesn't care about material possessions. You could just burn all the money. So this is a mid. It ends in a low. It's relatively safe. It has pushback. And you can... This special move is an overhead. So... The bird boy beat down? Yeah. A high risk mix up would be you go into the overhead. And then when you've conditioned them, you can go into the low. So this is this is the first... If, if you are a tournament player, this is the ter first tournament variation. Yes. What would you... If you were to give this whole version of Joker... A name. What kind of version is this? A little bit of zoning and then a lot of mix ups. Okay. And yeah, this is a really fast mid. I think it's an awesome, like, why would you not do this move if you're up close mid? You Got really it. can't go wrong. What, Another what, do you, one, what do you used to call those? Why not? They're why not. Why not? Yep. His jab string, I think, is really good. He has a couple of options from it. Like, he can actually get a combo. Bunk, bunk, bunk. bunk. Bam. <laughs> He can go into an overhead, or he can go into this ender that keeps him standing. And this is awesome to me because it looks exactly like his throw. Oh, so it's kind of kind of tricky. A little yeah, tricky there, eh? Strike throw mix-ups are uh -oh. like one of the key mix-ups in MK11, and I think he really excels at it. Um, yes, and he's got the the uh, the puppet, which is my favorite thing. But yes. we're not getting into that yet. And one more low, or one more move, is his back three, which is a low. He can hit confirm into stuff. It's unsafe, but it can also complement his overhead. He can hit confirm it if he wants to stay safe. It's it's not like the best low in the game, but it, it gets the job done. I think it's pretty good. Um, and I love the flare there at the yeah. end. Oh, he does yeah. a nice little spin. Um Yes, I, I... We are still having sound issues. We're fine, we're fine. Okay. I think my favorite is probably his down four. Just because of that. Ta-da! <laughs> He's so happy. And his hop That's what we're talking about, too. Like, that's the showmanship. The, yes. the layout there. So, let's get into his special moves. He has three in his default loadouts that he'll always have. Let's come back to us real quick. We're going to chat. And we're just going to turn it up a little bit. The, uh, people, the fans in the chat are asking for a little more up on the... Uh, okay. A couple up on the, the sound. Sorry about the sound today, everybody. We, we tested it all out, and now it's just kind of going through our board oddly. So we're just trying to get it all fixed you right think now. This is good? Maybe one more. In Maybe one more. Yeah. So we're going to do the best we can for you today. Uh, but you'll have Joker in your hands very soon, which is, which is exciting. How so. soon is it, Tyler? Very soon. <laughs> all right. But, I mean, everybody can hear me fine, right? That's the important thing. That's the I, thing. I, you can hear me? That's the thing I always worry about is we, we're able to hear you. Oh. Yeah, I, I so. don't think that's a concern. No, I think we're fine. Probably is. I don't think Derek's being too quiet has ever, ever never really been, been a problem. Never been said. All right, let's go real quickly through the special moves. Okay. Let's try this again so, and get some feedback. First is Batsy Poo, where he pulls out his Batman puppet and the gun shoots. Might be one of the best. Pew! It's... I mean, things we've... I mean, this is just... This is one of the things where the designer shows you early. You see the concept art and all that, and you're like... Okay. This <laughs> Let's might, see how this works. Like, yeah, this is... It's how also, did I get this job? This is amazing. It's also one of those things that when you see a trailer, and you see how the all the fans react, and the yeah. players react, and they pick out that one thing, and they're like, the bat gun is incredible. So he has a couple of things he can do besides just shoot it. He can actually hold it, and he'll do his impression and talk to Batman... Well, yeah, because he's crazy. He's got yes. to talk to Batman. Then you can release it at any time. Mm -hmm. Or he can amplify it. He shoves this rocket in his mouth, and then he actually gets a pop-up, and he can do a combo. Batsy-poo. Love him. I love it. 
He also has multiple things he can say, which is super fun. Yeah, there's a bunch of different lines. I like, I am the knight. Yeah. I am the knight. So then he has Bird Boy beat down. Mm -hmm. He runs forward. It's an overhead. The meter burn is super cool. So this has a crushing blow. If he has done the amplified one three times, it'll be loaded. I got to do one more. Okay. Now it's loaded. And the next time you do it, you will get big beefy damage without having to amplify it. Oh, right on the side of the head, that's nice. So while normally he doesn't really have big combo launchers with his special moves, that'll allow him to do like pretty much combo damage anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. Then lastly, he has this Jack in the Box. You can hold it as long as you want and then release it. And I think this is best used in your block strings. Okay, explain. So you can do, release it, and this is usually safe, if not like plus one, just literally neutral. And it's pushing him back a little bit. Yes, ex that's a very good point. He can also amplify it. I think if it crouch blocks, it's actually plus. It's it's pretty much, if you do a string, you see they block it. You don't want to do bird boy beat down, you can do this. And you can do different things, like you could do just this really quickly, you can do the full string, you can amplify you all can the hold it ways. for a second. Yeah, hold it for a long time. Mm -hmm. You basically mix it up and the opponent has to guess if they're going to interrupt, if they're going to block, is it going to be punishable or the one of the more neutral ones because you're crouch blocking. It's basically just a setup mix up tool to do when the opponent blocks your stuff. And sure. there's, there'll also be stuff where like- Just to keep you safe. Yes. It's basically or you it. can do stuff where like you knock them down and as long as you don't think they're going to wake up, you go into the- and then you can bait out their wake-up attacks, all that kind of good stuff. I feel as if it's necessary to do the sounds every time he does it. Yes. Uh, it also, <laughs> the most important thing is he plays the song. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it is. Who cares about plus frames when you have that song? Right, it's, it's great. It's great. Um, so, cool. What else we got? Let's go into his throws. All right. Tyler, always a huge fan of the throws. Throws. I, Whenever we have a new character that the designers are making, I always go and throws Same. get put in. Are the kind throws of, in? But the throws get kind of put in later sometimes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm always sad because it's like the throws aren't in yet. And right. The character can look amazing. I'm like, oh, but no throws. Okay. I'll yeah. be back later. No throws. Yep. All right. So his forward throw has a crushing blow, but it actually has an interesting crushing blow requirement. It's not the usual one. And it's tied to his fatal blow. So let's go straight to that. Oh, before we go there, too, let's talk about that. Uh, front and back. Uh, Crushing blows from throws. Yes. Only one a game now. Yes, only one a game. So Forgot to mention that. That's a pretty big balance change for characters that had both those. Right. I think it's still, I think there's still some of the best crushing blows to have. Sure. But for like Sindel, Baraka, that's pretty big. Okay, no. Yep. So his fatal blow is he pulls out the jack in the box and Bye. comes out. He can also hold it. And he can actually cancel it, similar to Johnny Cage. Mm -hmm. And that allows him to actually... Put on the pressures. Exactly. Or you can actually get combos. Nice. So this is tied to his throw. Oh. oh. That will trigger if the fatal blow is on cooldown. So what you could do is unblock. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Cancel. And then you have an awesome strike throw aggressing game. That's cool. You're either going to get a strike into big damage or the crushing blow. So you could literally be full screen on somebody just cancel it. And then, like, walk them down for eight seconds. That uh, would be a very long walk, but yes. Or, like, you know, in a way that's not, like, just if you do it, like, even five feet away from them, like, boom, boom, yes. just do it. And now you have that, that mind game with it. Exactly. Like, you could do, and then. Are you going to finish combo? Are you going to go in for a throw? Exactly. Yes. So that just makes his throw game all the more better when he's on uh, cool down. cooldown. Yep. That's, that's an ingenious use of Crushing Blow. I love yeah, that. when I saw that requirement at first, I'm like, I don't get it. What's, what are we going for? And then it's, oh yeah, that makes perfect sense. That's actually really, really good. Mm -hmm. So let's go into variation uh, one move. So these are the variation moves. And this one is based on Batsy Poo. So the first thing is he can actually cancel Batsy Poo. Unlike a lot of cancels, this one actually doesn't cost stamina. And I don't think this one's about block pressure as much as it is faking out the zoning. Right. Because you can hold it, amplify it, or actually just throw right it down. Yeah. The second thing he gets is a parry. You know I love parries. Oh yeah. 
So, mm -hmm. regular, he slaps you in the face with it. <laughs> and if you amplify it, it gets a up. pop up. We're right into the cane. And then, lastly, this is awesome. He puts it on the ground. And if you amplify it, he gets four shots. And this is a pretty awesome zoning tool. It's a low, which you can also use in mix-ups. Right. It's a big pushback tool. And it's actually a pretty big chunk of damage. It's also four shots, so like reflects don't have a That's a good great deal with point. It. Yeah. You can see it's pretty good damage. Now, if they jump it, you are in a lot of trouble. He's gonna have a bad day. Mm -hmm. Well, like you're literally kneeling down to put it down. Yeah, and set it you up. can like walk behind him, go into your idle animation, get out of it, and then combo him. Like yeah. he's probably gonna get sent to Arkham if you jump it. Sure. But then that would obviously set up like a lot of his, his great uppercut. Yeah, I didn't show that. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. And it can just keep the opponent away if you just want to use his mid range footsie stuff. So I think that's variation one, which, as I said a while ago, uh, a little bit of zoning, and then it actually helps with his mix-ups too, because it's a low, and he has the parry, and all that good stuff. When he's also in the uh, amplified Batsy pew, he's probably low-profiling stuff too, right? So you can't, Oh, like, that's a great point. You know what I mean? So he's, yeah. he's down there on the ground, so you can't hit him with projectiles. You'll probably have to teleport or something like that to get to him. That's actually a great point, and yeah, so that really helps with the dance. So if he's in a projectile war, and it's someone with a high projectile, like, they're going to lose, like, 20% if he's right, right. on the low But doing that against a teleporter is it, just, it's, you're dead. Right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> this variation, probably not the best <laughs> against, like, Scorpion. Sure. Yeah. So let's go to variation two, which is the interesting, I would say, the setup character, the weirdos mm -hmm. variation. This, and, this is how my Joker will dress. Oh, this costume. He is ready for the ball. And you know what my favorite part is, oddly, and this is very minute... It's the white around the cane. Yes. It just same. adds a level of class to it. Yes. So tell us, because we call this one Classic Clown. Yes. Uh, what would you, how would you talk about this ver this variation? I would say this is your weird setup one. If you like plus frames and weird, oh, I knock them down in the corner and then I do this setup, I think this is going to be the one you like. Okay. Probably if you played like the Injustice Joker, like, or if you're like a creative player, and you're like, yeah, show me the setups. I think this is going to be the one. Okay. So in this variation, he gains two new moves. And they're jack-in-the-box based. The first is he puts the jack-in-the-box on the ground and it shoots up in the air. And this is an anti-air tool. So he predicts you're going to jump, puts it down. Then he's going to get combos. Now, it does not have a hitbox on the way down. But if you amplify it, it does. And now it becomes a space control tool. So you can put Boom. it out. The opponent's <laughs> going to have to move out of the way or block. Right. And that's going to allow you to get the gun out, go in with forward two, go in with forward one. Also, like, it's very tricky because you, if, you, if you don't notice the flash, they yes. look the same. Yeah. The difference is he actually has a light on the head as it's coming down, but it's very subtle. Right. I, so you yeah. really have to pay attention. It also has a close, medium, and far. Directable. And you actually have a pretty tight pop-up window if you do it up close. The second move he gets is he kicks the jack-in-the-box on the ground. And I think this is going to be your setup tool. Because it is actually big time advantage on block. Yeah. Like... Now these are very easy to interrupt. But if you condition the opponent with all your different stuff, they're going to want to block. And that's going to set up doing the low one. And on hit, it pops up for a combo. Does it? It does I, if I you're not really <laughs> bad. Now, that move is too slow to combo off like his normals and stuff, but for setups, it's going to be awesome. Like, gotcha. You can put that on the ground and bait a wake up attack, or you can do it in block strings. It's, it's going to have like a lot of uses. In. It's also just super fun to use. You can, I mean, I mean, you can bait out wake up attacks too with it because like they'll 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 armor through it, but exactly. you're you're gonna lose some meter that way. So there's there's definitely like the mind games with how we how we react on knockdown too as an yeah. opponent. So. I think the creative players are really gonna like this yep. one. And lastly, we have the variation that I use. And one thing I think is cool about them is you can see these are all quite different. Like, I think his normal attacks are like pretty straightforward and right. simple to use. The special moves are where he really gets unique. 
I mean, this is the one you said earlier that I would enjoy. Yes, this is the one I play. This is the one where, this is the opposite of the last one. You're like, I don't care. I don't even know what plus frames are, mm -hmm. and I'm not playing the tutorial. I want to do combos. <laughs> right. YOLO Joker. And this outfit. Awesome. I The feathers are so awesome. Mm -hmm. So this one, he loses Bird Boy Beatdown, which means he loses his overhead, but he gains bigger range, and if you amplify it, big combos. So now he hit confirms this, and he's gonna get pretty beefy damage. That is, yeah, that's good. 32, two bars. It also has a Fatal Blow. If this is a counter hit at max range, Bam. I love the brass knuckles. I, yes, I the, love the that it has brass knuckles. It's, it's just, like, you gotta think about when he's inventing those, that it's like, they're padded gloves, but no. Let's just, just make the gloves metal then. Right, yeah. <laughs> but, no, 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 no. But he's that's, the Joker, and he's an, absolute, he's an absolute psychopath, so. Awesome. Yeah, and I think this complements everything. This complements uh, his parry, if you want to make your own loadout. It complements his fatal blow, if he cancels it. It, like... This definitely gives him pretty big damage. Like in yeah. the corner, he can actually amplify it twice and you can end in like corner combos and stuff. Like I've seen- Corner combs, right. Corner combs. Off his Fatal Blow cancel, I saw literally a 50% combo. It was awesome. Really? Yeah. So the other thing he gets- I was gonna say, what else does he get? What else? He gets, this is really fun. This gas canister. Harkening back to uh, the, his victory and justice. Yes. That's right. I didn't Correct. even think of that. What was that? That was him shaking the can. Because he was in front of the camera, remember? Okay, yes. Yeah. So you can actually hold this down. This is as fast as it can be. Or you can hold it. And at any time you can amplify it, and it'll actually pop them up. So the idea would be, you like, knock them down, do it. They try to jump over it, and that the pillar of flume goes up, and it'll anti-air them. Mm -hmm. So if they jump, you let it rip. Nope, nope, Oops. nope, nope, nope. That was not good. Nope, mm. nope. <laughs> You know what? It's the theme of the day. Yeah. It's okay. I feel like Joker's hey. sabotaging us. Hey, it's yeah. all good. Joker okay. has definitely sabotaged portions of the stream today. Or you let it go, and then, if they don't immediately step in it, it now does dot damage. Well, so, and also, um, just real quick, to point out, like, we, can you get closer to uh, Johnny? Like, uh, right, right about here. Like, you can see how much that flame goes out. So you don't yes. actually have to be right next to him. Right. It it's actually kind really of advances on its own, too. Because it's liquid. And that's what liquid does. Scientists. <laughs> uh, so we. So this is a good thing for, like, maybe there's some cool stuff you can do in the corner and things yep. like that. Yeah. And I think the, the, the amplified one is great. Like, so many times I'll fight people and they try to jump and then... They're always like, oh my god, that still hit me. Right. I've never played against a jumpy opponent. Never once. Wow. Well, Those are lies. Those are lies. I'm lying. I'm lying. I would say that is Joker. I think, uh, like I said, I think he can be very straightforward and very simple. You can just forward one, forward two, throws, big mm -hmm. combos, a right. little bit of space control with the puppet. Or if you want, I think variation two is going to be pretty interesting. And... He has a couple of moves you saw in the trailer that we didn't show. We only showed three. Right. Uh, really cool stuff with the Joker. Definitely excited to see kind of where Joker fits into the meta. It's always fun throwing a new character and to see how they yes. kind of disrupt the current meta and what things are happening. So that's always awesome. So I yeah. also think, uh, I would overall say he's pretty simple to play, but it looks like he's more complicated than he is, which is great. Because you look smarter than you are when playing. It's good. Love characters like that, I yeah. think. Mm. 